I know why you're here. You're either a good player and you want to see what the hell does this guy have to say, or you surely need an extra piece of advice to improve your PvP skills. Either way, sit back, listen, and you may consider taking something out of this video. My name is Black Raid, and this is the top 8 tips on how to improve your PvP skills. Number 1. Let's start with the basic knowledge that you should have been doing. A. I don't want bullets. You already know it, but you still don't use it. And if you do, then you will want to hear the next tips. Investing your money on good weapons and getting mediocre ammunition is wrong. You should invest them on good bullets and a good armor instead. B. Map knowledge. Are you sure you know every possible angle, or at least most of them? Are you sure you know all possible ways to flank or get flank in your location? Take advantage of your knowledge and put it to work. And trust me, if you follow this along with the next tips, you will have better results. C. Make sure you use cover. A lot of people are fighting in the open and they have their whole body exposed. Try to shoot, suppress the enemy and get to cover. <sighs> Got one! Woo. Number 2. Plan on how you're going to move on the map. Moving around from point A to point B, then point C, and then back to point B, and then going to D is not good, and I will explain why. Knowing the spawn locations and times to get to certain places on the map means that if you actually plan to go from point A, which is your spawn, to point B, which is your high loot area, and on the way you just stop to loot and go to point C because you heard there is good loot and you're close, well, this leads us to A, change your plan and go from point C instead of point B. If you go to point B, that you first plan after you stop to loot point C, enemies will already be there. The place will already be looted and you have lost track of what's going on in this area since you were not there from the beginning. You most likely are going to get engaged by someone who is leaving point C or he is actually camping it. So it's not worth it. B. If you stop to get loot, you lose your chance to get in point B first or at least contest it and fight for it. If they are already in point B, your chances of getting in the building or the area are lower for you and your squad members. So plan ahead and stick to the plan, especially if you're not experienced with roaming PvP and your awareness is not good for spotting or listening to audio cues while running or interacting with anything, then you should definitely stick to the plan. Remember, the loot you already have is worth more than if you die. Number 3. When you're in a fight and you hold an angle, there is a high chance that you will die. Let me explain why. The way PK's advantage works is when you're staying still for a long time, the server stops receiving information from your computer and considers you're still there. Which means the attacker who is going to rush around the corner will already have this information from the server and will spot you first, before you even see him. Because he's on the move and the server is trying to gather the information live and give it to you which results in a delay onto your screen. Now that you know why, try to move around or at least change the angle you're watching. Oh, and by the way, that applies when you're already in a fight. When the enemy doesn't know you're around the corner, then you do have the element of surprise. Which means if the enemy is not quick enough to realize that you are there, yes, you do have the advantage. Number 4. Do not stay in the area that you won the fight for too long. The forest is big and it has many wolves. People that want PvP will come straight away from the fight as soon as they hear the gunshots. And when the gunfight is over, they are already on their way. I'm doing it all the time when I just want to have PvP. Audio cue is so important in this game and it gives you information that will guide you straight to the fight. And those guns, without suppressor, are damn loud. So try to secure the area after you kill your targets, loot, and then leave. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? No way, there was a rat here! <laughs> Number 5. How many times have you died without using your grenades? I will let you think. 
I bet you never thought about it. Well, let me tell you this. Grenade is a fantastic tool for repositioning without letting your enemy know and applying pressure. First, to relocate, simply throw your grenade towards the enemy and then immediately run as soon as the grenade is about to explode. That way the explode will cover the sound of your footsteps or jump and as soon as he re-pick the corner, he will expect you on the previous corner you were watching. And now you have the chance to finish him. Second, to apply pressure, you want to use the grenades in a way that you will make the enemy unable to relocate or push you and make him stay exactly where you want him to be. Kill both? God damn! Number 6. Know your gear and plan accordingly. Planning where to go on the map is not the only thing you need to consider. When you choose your gear to go in, you should think if you really can tank some bullets or you should stay back and play safe. How many grenades you have and what type of grenade? You don't want to throw an M67 grenade to relocate as it's going to take 5 seconds, but instead you want to use it aggressively to make the enemy retreat so you can move forward and kill him before the grenade explodes. Know what kind of ammo you have and how effective it is. If you know you can't penetrate greater than level 4 armor and you spot someone who looks like he has good gear, you should really consider going for the headshot or cripple him by shooting his legs and then finish him. This leads us to number 7, which is use the firing range to practice your headshots. Moving and shooting in Tarkov is hard as the weapon sways on the opposite side you are side walking. Practice your flicks and your hip fire and try to maintain head level because even with trap ammo, everyone dies in the head and you can finish the fight quickly. Another big tip you should know is that baiting shots will actually reward you the most. Pick quick to see and bait shots. This is giving you information where the enemy is exactly but you're also forcing him to waste ammo and reload. Yeah, it's a player down there. Yeah. And last, number eight. Stop hesitating. When you finally get the air of the game, you will regret of not doing earlier. Do not afraid to die. You will die even if you stay still. Instead, start making moves. Start being the leader of the fight and take it to your advantage. And not let the enemy play his game. Be a chad and not a rat. I believe you can do it. That's AP, goddamn you. I see your flashlight. Look who's that. Look who's that. And that's it for now. If you learned anything, leave a like. If you did not, well, you can dislike. If you want to support this channel and see more future content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Oh, and by the way, I'm streaming on Twitch, so if you have any questions, I would love to chat with you there. So please, link is down below in the description, click there. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Happy hunting. Someone's outside. Got one?